Hello Pisces, welcome to my channel. I'm about to read the cards for you. This reading is for the new moon in Cancer, which is in July of 2024. This is a message from Spirit to help you with your moon manifestation practice. The new moon is a perfect time. It gives us a, a clean slate, a chance to reflect about the dreams and goals that we have for the upcoming phases of the moon and manifesting what we desire uh, according to the moon cycle. So I'm starting this new channel with uh, this new moon, this series as well, part of the channel uh, of following along with the moon phases and uh, using the tarot cards to guide us in helping us to find our uh, most advantageous advices for manifesting what we truly desire and what is truly for our best and highest good. Uh, before I get started with the reading, I want to go ahead and give a do a brief overview of the energies for you for Pisces in July of 2024. So for Pisces, enjoy a boost in self-confidence and drive. Whether you're on your own or dealing with others, you find it easy to adapt and do what you must to get things done. Use this energy wisely or you might later regret letting it go to waste. So this must be a pretty uh, invigorating time for you, uh, ast astrologically, Pisces. So for you, this month in July, the most favorable days are the 5th and the 6th, and the most demanding days for you this month are the 17th and the 18th. So to begin with, I'll be using the Rider Waite uh, this a version of Rider Waite here, and I'm just going to ask Spirit to um, to uh, join us in communicating and through this deck. What is it for for Pisces' highest good? What should Pisces first of all? What should Pisces release this month? All right, there's something. Now, what should Pisces embrace this month? What is something Pisces should embrace? Okay, there we go. All right, so I think it came out it came out upside down. Um, but I'm going to assume that it's that way. Okay. Because I'm not doing reversals unless there's a reason to do reversals, and I'll explain that too. But at this point, I don't see a reason to do reversals. So here we have, on the release side, you have the Seven of Swords. And um, so the overall uh, advice for this card is to guard against conceit and concealment. Deceit and concealment. Uh, so something that you might want to release or think or Spirit says that you should release could be... Uh, Things like dishonesty, and that could mean not necessarily to other people, but dishonesty with yourself. Uh, that's what I've, I have found this card to be, um, in my experience, more appropriate to for dishonesty against oneself. And uh, betrayal, and that could be betrayal of the self. It could be uh, someone else but or something, but um, dishonesty, betrayal... Uh, strategy, tactics, trickery, and low self-esteem. Those are the things that you would, you should consider to include in releasing this month when you make your intentions for the new moon. Okay. And something to embrace this month um, at this time, open your heart and receive love from others. Embrace balance, attraction, partnership that could be coming your way harmony equality connection so these are the things that um, spirit says that you can look forward to you should be embracing at this time okay all right let's go ahead and get some more uh, information we're going to use the spirit song tarot these uh these cards are really good at making every card 
highly optimistic and very useful even uh, in learning and what we need to embrace and what we need to release. So for even though we have two cards here and even though they'll be in each column, both cards will probably be useful to view as a release and a um, embrace card because there's there's parts of each card that are helpful to embrace and helpful to release. So here we go. I'm going to um, ask Spirit, there we go, for Pisces. What does Pisces best to release and accept? Okay, here we go. All right, so the Knight of Crystals is the Knight of Earth, the Knight of Pentacles. So this is something to release or to embrace or both. This is the Seven of Shells, which is also the Seven of Cups. Choice and Ambitions. So let's just look deeper into each of these cards. We're going to find out what it is in each of these cards that we can learn to release and embrace. So for the Knight of Crystals, we have a camel, I think it is. And the camel depicted here is um, a symbol of endurance and determination. Okay. A master of endurance and a determination. Camel has journeyed over difficult terrain to reach his destination. He takes pride in establishing a secure post, yet his desire for adventure propels him to travel. Camel is here to guide you in rewarding yourself with success, yet advises that you continue to grow and improve. Set your goals and remain inspired and motivated by what you aim to achieve. Trust in your abilities and allow your dynamic energy to lead you to uncharted pathways of intriguing new experiences. So definitely there's a lot to embrace here, such as determination, endurance, security, responsibility, manifestation, persistence, and patience. So we think about the Knight of Pentacles as being um, slow moving towards progress, taking things one step at a time, slow but surely, but he's getting there, okay? Um, if there is a lack of motivation when it sets in, um, your awareness will reawaken. So, um, if there's something to release here, it could be a lack of motivation. Um, see it if it, if it ties with this, um, missed opportunities, a lack of initiative, being irresponsible, um, or a lack of inertia. Those are the types of things to release. Uh, but I could say that uh, the... Uh, so in addition to self, like low self-esteem, for instance, would be something that needs to be released, I would say, is most prominent here. And with the Knight of uh, Crystals, he is a master of, de of determination and he, you know, he's not someone who's going to be wallowing in um, any kind of uh, like low self-esteem. He knows he will get there. He knows he has the ability. He has the, uh, has success in, in mind and on his, in his heart. He can, he's moving towards it steadily. Okay, so the Seven of Shells, the Seven of Cups. Uh, let's see here. Okay, so the Lobster is depicted here. And uh, the key words are Choice and Ambitions. So when you think about the Seven of Cups card, you remember there's the... Um, um, all of the cups that the person is viewing, he's got so many options and choices. And some of those cups are full of 
treasures and some of those cups are full of scary things but this card is more about choice and ambitions so the message is wandering through his emotional landscape lobster is in search of ambitions and ideas that seem to have drifted away awakening to the endless possibilities life has to offer he's come to a crossroad of choices he's persistent and eager to embrace his imagination as he explores his options so that phrase embrace is included here um, he's eager to embrace his imagination as he explores his options he takes time to ponder the choices that are the most important to him lobster is your creative guide in making the best decisions that will help you move ahead into new desirable situations choices are a plenty in the world but by focusing inward, you're giving yourself the energy needed to focus without attempting to do everything at once. The key words here are choices, decisions, possibilities, observation, imagination, searching for a purpose and ambitions. So that's something to uh, consider embracing at this time. The choices that, that are, you're going to be um faced with or that you're going to have uh, displayed to you because you know this is a time for you to uh, make make choices on what you want and what your what your ambitions are for so the things that you would want to um, release from this energy are some confusion or lost dreams or feeling trapped and because you're not trapped, you have choices, you have options available. And something that, you know, so, you know, don't let yourself feel a low self-esteem or anything or thinking that you don't have choices or that your choices are so many that you can't make a decision. You know, that's another problem with um, the Seven of Cups card is it can be overwhelming to figure out well which which way do i go uh i i i have all these choices and i'm overwhelmed and so i do nothing so that's not that's not what you want to do you want to be like the knight of crystals you want to be like you know able to move forward on your path okay choosing one thing at a time and moving forward on your path and don't let um you know lying to yourself or illusions or betraying your own purpose in life and your own spirit by um, you know um, staying self-absorbed in low self-esteem or feeling guilty or any kind of shame or anything like that there's no room for that it's time to let that go release it nobody needs that okay so Anyway, it's time to move on to the next uh, thing. I'm just going to find out spirit from the spirit animal deck what spirit would like to share with you uh, that gives, gives us more clarification, ties the reading all together, advises us with some specific ways to deal with releasing, to deal with the embrace, the things that we have to look forward to. So um, spirit, please uh, show Pisces what uh, one or two, or I mean two or three cards on um, what would be best for Pisces highest good. Okay, one more. Spirit says shuffle. All right, there we go. And one more. <laughs> All right, here we go for Pisces. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, Pisces. Spirit says he gives you the spirit animal, coyote. And uh, coyote is symbolized with playfulness. This is a reminder to not take things too seriously and bring more balance between wisdom and playfulness. You might need to lighten up about a matter that has been on your mind for a while. So yeah, don't don't beat yourself up about anything. Don't take things so seriously. It's it's all going to be okay. 
Open up your heart and receive love from others. Have that balance. Balance, wisdom, and playfulness. Have fun, mirth, have harmony and connection with others and, and people partnerships. Make your choices with you know a balanced mind. Lighten up. Just choose something. Don't take things too seriously. It's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out just fine. You've got the uh, Knight of Crystals ensuring that you will make it there. The best thing for you to do is to continue to move forward step by step, one step at a time. That's it. Spirit gives you Armadillo. That is for protection. You are entering a phase where in order for you to be in alignment with your intentions and co-create your best life, you may have to be discerning and say no to many things that have been holding you back in the past. So again, letting go of those things that, you know, that Seven of Swords energy, letting go of the things that, um, you know, don't make us feel that great. Uh, and you're going to be, you are protected. You do have protection against that because it's a choice that you can make and you have choices. You have options. You don't have to be stuck in the past. You don't have to be weighed down by any sort of negative feelings or you know, things that you wish you had done or didn't do. Um, so yeah, you've, you're fine. You've got, you've got harmony, balance. You've got a potential partnership coming your way as well as options, protection, and your mindfulness to be playful. Okay, and that's going to be it for that part of the reading today. That's going to, that should be helpful to you to uh, formulate your specific uh, intention for the month using this new moon to start fresh, a brand new slate, and uh, starting um, on your way to uh, acquiring what you desire, hopefully by the end of this month. If it's something within, you know, that can happen within a month. So uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel if you're uh, interested in following along with this moon manifestation practice. Um, if you find this helpful, uh, you know, with with uh, spirit showing us, uh, showing you what what you can work on, what you can help let go, and it's going to be a different kind of reading for the full moon, but it because there's a different kind of manifestation energy there. Um, but we'll do that. And then, of course, at the next new moon, you, you can start another, a whole new um, a whole new intention for the next month, okay? Uh, so for now, that's all of that. I'm going to give you a mini reading right now. This is uh, two cards out of the Career and Life Oracle deck. So if you have any questions or uh, concerns about your career, at this time, uh, this would be a good time to get some information from Spirit about that. So I'm going to ask Spirit for two or cards or so for Pisces at this time. One more card, please. Thank you, Spirit, very much. Got one more card for Pisces for this bonus reading. Nice off the burr. There we go. Okay. Spirit says, journey. You may have, you may move to a new place for work or travel for work. Exploring the world gives you the experience you need to succeed. So uh, that's pretty interesting. If you have, uh, you are, you do have protection and this could be part of your uh, options, the choices that you have to make. So exploring the world is, uh, it would give you the experience you need to succeed. Something to think about, Pisces. All right, rewards. You are cashing in on all the good work you've done. Raises, bonuses, and prosperity are coming in. Keep going and keep growing. Wow, that's a beautiful message for you, Pisces. I hope you enjoy that. Now, you have one more bonus here today. I'm going to uh, use my yes or no coin and you are going to come up with your own yes or no question 
And so when I flip the coin, whatever we have, Spirit will answer your yes or no question for you. And here we have, uh, while you are coming up with that question, while you're formulating that, I'm going to just uh, talk to you a little bit about these crystals. These are specifically, um, uh, what, what I can't think of the word. They're specifically geared, or not geared, but they are primi primarily beneficial for Pisces. And these are just the clear quartz that I, I put around them to amplify the energy. But for Pisces, you have, you are, um, attractive and attracted to amethyst. Amethyst is a good stone for you. These are some polished ones. They're, um, they're purple and beautiful. This is one, uh, raw piece. Uh, they come inside the big, the big geodes, of course, these crystals, these amethyst crystals do beautiful, uh, lavender purplish looking ones. And, uh, let me just tell you what amethyst, uh, is, why is it good for Pisces? One of the birthstones associated with Pisces, amethyst is a spiritual crystal that allows the deep Pisces to get in touch with the spiritual world with ease. Amethyst also has the power to calm down the emotional water sign while increasing their already high intuition. Um, wear an amethyst necklace while meditating to calm down. So Pisces, you are in, innately, um, deeply, more of, more of one of the more psychic signs, one of the more spiritually attuned signs. And amethyst is is definitely um, one of the major, the most common crystals that um, aid us to connecting with our psychic abilities and our spiritual abilities. Okay, and I also have a, a piece of black tourmaline here. It's dirty because it, but it is raw, and um, it's kind of like it's like it's kind of like it's been dug out of the earth. And, but anyway, it is. Um, a crystal that is widely used as a talisman in ancient cultures to ward off demons. Black tourmaline absorbs all negativity, including emotions. It can help protect empathetic Pisces placements from energy vampires. Wear a black tourmaline bracelet to absorb the negative emotions around you. So that's a good crystal for you, Pisces. And then I don't have a calcite here. But um, calcite is another crystal good for Pisces. It brings soothing energy to the often emotionally sensitive Pisces and gives them the balance they need to stay grounded. The stone also provides emotional and mental clarity, helping Pisces pl placements make decisions, inspire their creativity, and help them reach enlightenment. Hold calcite in your hand when you need to make a major decision. So when you come in, into this situation, when you see yourself here, if you had some calcite, that that might help you to uh, make your decision when you have when you're faced with that seven of shells, seven of cups energy there. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and set these crystals aside for now. It's time to do the yes or no question. So go ahead and Think of that yes or no question. I'm about to flip the coin. Spirit guides, please uh, answer for the collective the yes or no question to the best of uh, the collective ability for, for the collective. Um, okay, here we go. Ooh, that was <laughs> too much. Too much. I went crazy on that one. Okay, let's start over. There we go. That's more normal. All right. Yes, yes. So Pisces, Spirit says the answer to your question is yes. All right. I hope that um, answers your question in a satisfying way. Um, I'd like to invite you to please subscribe. Please come back. Please follow along so that we can advance our uh, manifestations through the moon cycle and see how that works out, how it plays out. Give it a try for a month or so, right? Um, anyway, let's uh, get, I, I want to say also, if you found any um, entertainment value, any useful information here for you, 
Um, if you enjoyed this reading, please give me a thumbs up. Help me to boost this channel. It's brand new. I need as much help as I can get, obviously. But uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much for being here, for spending time with me and uh, learning along with me so many things that that will help us to get where we want to go in life. All right. <laughs> so, all right, that's it for now. I love you very much. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Thank you, Pisces.